It's my G gaming. Oh, damn it, Mom, I hate this new toaster you got me. Welcome to Resident Evil 2 Remake G Review, the game that proves that Capcom is the brains and we fans are the horde of zombies shambling towards said brain skull buffet thing. I lost the metaphor there. Anyways, this game is freaking awesome. The Taco Bell office party ends in terrible diarrhea for all. With how many changes and how well so many of them landed, you have to believe that Capcom was just sitting on a big well of ideas for a one day, someday Resident Evil 2 remake and then finally technology caught up with them with the RE engine, the same engine that made Resident Evil 7 so awesome, paving the way for this experience that feels as seamless as it does fresh to those of us who played Resident Evil 2 to hell and back in the days of Yonder Yore. Petroleum jelly, perfect for office sex breaks. I guess the most logical place to start is with the enemies. The zombies are not only terrifyingly shrill in the hallways, they are deadly. They have lunges that you wouldn't expect. They soak up headshots until you get that one super lucky one. They don't do any Crimson Head style mutations, but they don't need to because they feel like the most threatening zombies in a video game to date, but can still be gamed thankfully if you really just go through one playthrough and feel your way around. A bit. I said no hugs, Uncle Jerry! Then you have the liquors, which just look greasy and bony and sinewy and just amazing. And then you have uh, the various G-virus mutations, which are awesome and a little bit tough, although there is a little bit of a ball drop there with one of the mutations. My name is Leon S. Kennedy, motherfucker. You are my street now. But make no mistake, the grand poobah of this horror show is Mr. X. Resident Evil 2 would not be the same game if he was not trolling the hallways in a way he never could before. Now he will chase you to the ends of the earth. It does not matter what room you're in, this side of even most save rooms, not all, most of them. He will just casually lean under any door frame, walk up to you, blast you with one fist, and tip his fedora as he flips you off. Rollos, Mike sells, 20 year old popcorn. And that's a theme throughout Resident Evil 2. You just seriously lack that sense of safety that the first quartet of the games in this series brought to you. You don't have any more save room music. You don't have any more pats on the back whenever you go through and find a puzzle piece that you've been looking for or door animations to kind of give you a second to catch your breath. Everything is breakneck. Zombies will break through doors. They will come after you. Lickers and dogs will jump you your ass from behind and slash your back and you will see all that damage on Leon or Claire. So it's one big walking reminder every time you look at your own character that you're not safe. You're not even close to safe. You're not safe until the end credits roll. And that mixed with the seamless action and the lethality of the enemies makes it feel like this is the freshest horror game that's been invented in quite some time even though it's just a remake of a game that's older than most people on the internet right now. Here he comes, da 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 da, Mr. X. Leon, Claire, Ada, Sherry, uh, William, Annette, and uh, Tofu. Yeah, we'll say Tofu. All of these characters and more uh, become actual characters instead of just one or two stereotypes stapled together with polygons surrounding them. To the point where this is probably the best Resident Evil story that Capcom's ever told. Complete with emotional throat punches and a lot of really corny ass lines. And so Resident Evil 2 doesn't have that many negatives, as you can tell. But the few that I do have kind of revolve around the G-mutant that I talked about earlier, that it just sets up this long gauntlet in the middle of the game that only really highlights the negative aspects of what can happen to your character. So it just feels a little sloggy there and a little just depressing that the game wants to punish you so much and take away so many resources at once. That, and I do wish 
the game was accordioned out just a little bit more lengthwise. Please, please, can I offer you a coupon book good at over 200 local locations? Please, it's all yours. I won't tell my boss. Ah! But like a swing from Mr. X, there's no way that's going to hold this game back from a high-ass 9 out of 10 from me. That'll be all from field reporter Leon S. Kennedy with this Raccoon City adventure. I'll see you next time, IG gamers. Bye-bye!